What is going on my lions? Welcome. Today is Sunday. I'm excited to make this video for you guys because it is very important for us to know why we would fail on Amazon FBA. As much as I would like to share the successes with you guys and the things that make you successful, I think it is equally important to know what would cause us to fail. And today I'm going to mention the top five things that you actually absolutely have to consider when you do an Amazon FBA and we want to make sure that we're successful and nothing really comes in our way. So let's get started. But before that, I want to remind you guys to like this video if you like it, subscribe, hit the bell button and comment if you have any questions and I'll be happy to answer. Let's get right into it guys. One of the main reasons that we fail on Amazon FBA is not doing proper product research. And that is absolutely one of the main things that really causes you from the get go to um, really gear your business into the correct direction. And a lot of the product research really will help you um, the data that is behind it to figure out if a product that you're going to sell and you're going to invest your time and career into to start with and build a foundation for your Amazon FBA business, if it is going to actually work. And I don't want you guys to negate any of the data that you see. And that's why I suggest you guys to invest in a tool like Jungle Scout or Viral Launch or whatever it is, Helium 10, whatever floats your boat. But make sure to invest in a tool like that because there is nothing worse than it's starting a product doing uh, thinking that it is going to be amazing and realizing that you're not selling anything the first week goes by second week goes by third week goes by and it is not selling the units that you wanted to so that is very frustrating because not only you've spent money on manufacturing this product right you've spent money in shipping to bring it to amazon fba warehouse and you've spent money um inventory with amazon fba and now your product is not selling. You've probably done advertising campaigns or what have you, and you've worked on your listing and everything. So product research, please do it from the get go correctly. Please invest the time. And even if it takes money, I would, I know I show you guys like product research tools that will find you in 10 minutes. So use those tools, make sure you do your due diligence. Don't just rely on, you know what I'm going to today, I'm going to search what's hot in the market and I'm going to sell that. Look at the numbers behind it. Look what people are selling. Um, Jungle Scout allows you to look into your competitors' data, guys. That's why it's so powerful. So do all those things before you actually invest your time and career into this. The second thing that I think is really, really crucial as well um, when you're uh, basically launching your product to not launch it correctly not launching correctly can really derail your business now there are so many aspects and i talk about them in a lot of videos in my in my channel so make sure you check it out whatever it is that you need uh, about product listing is in my channel so product listing you got to start right guys you got to do the right pictures you have to make sure the copy is great and marketable you have to make sure it's search engine optimized. It's very important. And um, a product like uh, Merchant Words can really help you decide what kind of wording you're gonna use for your uh, listing. And that will really set the tone of how successful your listing will be. So images, if you have trouble finding images or you have trouble finding a photographer to take pictures of your product, right? There are ways around it, guys. Like I always tell you guys, contact your manufacturer. They uh, they have pictures because those are the pictures that they're selling the product to you with, right? So they can actually give you this, those pictures and you can actually use them uh, for your listing and, and making sure that it is top notch from top to bottom. A lot of people don't know that you can do a lot. You can manipulate those pictures in Photoshop, put the dimensions in there. Put as much information into your listing as possible and make the pictures and the listing very presentable. One of the rookie mistakes that a lot of Amazon sellers make, and I've seen this happen time and time with people that I get in touch with, people that get in touch with me about their listing and ask me what is wrong with it, is that they only put three or four pictures. That is the worst thing you can do. Guys, maximize on the number of pictures Amazon allows you. Use every single bit 
available to your advantage guys and that's how you will make a proper listing invest the time and effort and when you're when you're actually ordering your product and it's taking let's say your uh, supplier is saying that it's gonna take two three weeks for me to manufacture it take that time to build your listing make sure it's ready don't just wait for the product to get an FBA warehouse and then uh, start working on your listing you got to do everything simultaneously make sure it's ready to go because that is absolutely crucial for people to really it's your first impression to your buyers and if they don't click on your listing they pass it chances are that the next buyer will pass as well and the next buyer will pass as well and that is just gonna hurt your sales velocity guys okay the third thing is not scaling your business what do I mean by that now you have a successful product, you've launched it, and um, I was like that. I launched my first product and I was making $10,000 a month with it, 5,000 profit in my pocket. But what I did was scale my business. I understood that I cannot rely on this product to take me for the next 10 years. That just not how, that, that's just not how Amazon works, guys. Amazon products, you're lucky if the same product is generating you amazing money for a year. You know what I mean? So you constantly have to look for product. Product research never finishes. So make sure you always get good at it and add to your portfolio. Your Amazon portfolio or catalog has to be at least five products within your first year. You have to make sure that when your main product, which is the foundation of your business, let's say it has accrued all the benefits or all the sales that it could within the year, right? and now it's time to slow down and people are not as interested in it anymore, you have other four products to back up your business. That's what scaling your business is so important because you're not putting your eggs in one basket. And a lot of people make that mistake that the first product starts rolling in and they are absolutely ecstatic with the results. Maybe you're making 20, 30 grand, which is possible a month with your product, with your first product. But guys, believe me, nothing good lasts forever. So you always have to make sure you have a backup plan. You're already working on your next big thing. Yes, the first product hit. Work on your second and your third and your fourth and your fifth. Build a catalog, guys. And one of the things that mistakes that people make when building their catalog is they start selling a bunch of different things, right? So if you're, let's say, selling baby products, all of a sudden they're selling like dishes or something else. Very common mistake people make. It's not good to basically expand your business into different directions because the buyers will be confused. When they come to your page, they see like this and then this, they will realize that, okay, you don't really master in any of it. You're just selling this and that, that don't really go together. So if you're selling baby products, stick with the genre. Sell like creams or sell towels or something that could be used with the other products that you have. That's how you'll be able to upsell as well, guys. So make sure that you add items or other products, profitable products that are related to your main foundation product. And that is really gonna set the tone for a profitable Amazon business, not just profitable Amazon product, profitable Amazon business. And that's how you guys can really generate year over year of profitable, uh, of profitable sales. So guys, I'm telling you, don't put your eggs in one basket. Rookie mistake I've made, a lot of people make it, and I'm sure the first product you guys will be running great and you don't have any maintenance on it, maybe half an hour a day, you check your listing and everything, use that time. Use that time to build your second product and third product, and that's how you'll be successful with it. Okay, the fourth one, which I think um, these are all important reasons, but this could be the main reason for you to not have an Amazon business at all, and that is being lazy and not taking action. A lot of people like start doing research, they do all kinds of stuff and then they don't take action, they become lazy and they just don't start their business or vice versa. They start their business, they get lazy about their product, they're like, you know what, I'm making money, this is what Amazon life is about and I'm done and I'm just going to let that product sell, I'm just going to replenish my inventory and that's it. Spend like five minutes a day and become lazy about it. That is the worst recipe, guys. Use that time, like I said, and uh, the previous point that build your business, scale your business. Do not be lazy. And the last point is differentiating your product 
what sets you apart from your competition? Why a buyer should buy your product versus somebody else's? What is so great about your product? And differentiation, I think, um, needs a full description of itself. So I'm going to do a video for you guys on that one next. But let's quickly talk about it. So we are going to differentiate our product by combining. There's so many ways. You can change the product. You can combine it. You can add the different things to it. You can change the packaging, all sorts of things. But you guys have to make sure that you differentiate your product because that's how buyers are going to buy. When they see somebody else's that is similar to yours, they're going to beat you on price every time. But if you differentiate your product and you actually add some value to it, you're going to be ahead of the game. Okay guys, those are the top five reasons why you will fail on Amazon and how to avoid them. So next we're going to talk about differentiation uh, on the next video. So subscribe, hit the bell button so you can get notification to that video. I really appreciate your viewership guys. I really appreciate your support. If you have any questions, make sure to drop it in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.